All right. Um, is anybody hungry? I was told last night we didn't serve enough food yesterday. So we're going to have an extra meal added to the day. No? Extra meals? <laughs> We're gonna have a we're gonna have breakfast and then brunch and then lunch and then dinner and then dinner, okay? We're gonna squeeze five meals in. All right, so uh, uh, who plans to take an Uber to the airport today? All right, uh, from what we understand, Uber is going to be striking in Atlanta from noon till midnight. Um, you're lucky, because uh, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna um, have directions for you guys if you uh, go on your Uber app. Um, and you find that Uber is uh, too expensive if, if there's a big spike. I, any Atlanta people know about what it should cost to go from here to the airport? How much did it cost you to get here? I, $25, okay. I guess I was going to say I could pull up my app and look. Um, so if, it, if it's in the $25 range and that's what you paid to get here, that's what you know. Um, for those that want to save some money, uh, the MARTA um, is very close to here. Um, so it'll take you, my, gu my guess would say it'll take you an hour to go from door to door on the MARTA. So just from a timing perspective, here, walking to the MARTA, waiting for the train, taking it from here, um, it's the very, very last stop, so you can't really miss it, and then you get off and you're basically in the, in the um, um, you know, ticket check-in area. Uh, so it's like a solid hour. Now, if you're taking a car, it could take you an hour. So uh, that's just Atlanta traffic. So um, just as something to kind of think about, uh, Caroline, we know where the MARTA stations are? Okay, awesome. Um, but there, I mean, we're in Midtown, so there's probably one or two within a block or two each direction. So um, yeah. Yeah, it's Uber and Lyft. Basically, uh, they they believe that um, the the story I heard last night was that uh, Uber's going public. They're expected to make like ninety billion dollars or something like that, um, and all the Uber drivers feel like they're getting screwed because, and they put in their public filing that their biggest risk of their business was driver striking. <laughs> Um, I don't know. To tell you the truth, not that I should give a political um, speech, but almost every Uber driver that I've talked to and I've asked about their Uber or their Lyft business tells me like how blessed they feel they are because of the service and how happy they are in the business that they do. But I mean, if that helps them earn a couple extra dollars, so be it, right? Um, that's something for, for Uber and Lyft to figure out, not us. Uh, but I just want to make sure you understood how it might impact your business. Um, if you didn't get one of our little coffee mugs, grab one uh, today. Anything left goes to the office and they get really excited. If you didn't get a pair of socks, um, we have plenty. So if you want to uh, have these be your permanent wardrobe, um, please feel free to take more than one. Um, let's see. All right, so awesome conversation. Did anyone see the magician last night? Yeah, awesome, good. He earned his money. That, that was enough of you. Uh, we're the winners from trivia, the cheater. I mean, the winners. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure Jerry goes, I know the answer to this one. And then he got it wrong because <laughs> it was probably the one they didn't look up. Um, <laughs> if you guys ever play bar trivia for real, understand that they will kick you out of the bar. Uh, okay, so honest, be honest now, because we know that the, 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 that group looked a few things up, and they still won, and I didn't really care. Who cheated? <laughs> only, two of you, uh, only two of you are going to admit th three, four. Did the, team, did the team in last place not look anything up? Because they should have. They should have. The team in last place should have looked something up, right? <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, um, we thank Amazon for, um, for, for co-hosting that dinner with us. Um, we've had a great relationship with Amazon for a number of years, and, um, and, and, and we were happy that, that they were um, you know, willing and able to, uh, to sponsor and co-host that dinner. So, um, 
Today, our content is going to uh, take a different turn. So yesterday, we, we really heavily focused on traffic. Um, started the day with a little bit of mindset, understanding how, to, how businesses grow from a, both a, um, a structural perspective as well as a, a financial perspective. Um, and then, and, and, and it was funny, I, was, I got into the elevator with Peter at the end of the afternoon. I go, it's really uh, funny when presenters all present differently, but the content ends up rolling together at the end of the day, right? So there were some themes from the, from the day yesterday that ended up being um, really good things for us to think about in our business. So one was um, stay focused. Right, that, that successful business owners stay focused in what they're doing and they don't chase the latest and greatest um, that's out there. Number two was um, set reasonable goals and run your business as if that is where your business is today, uh, not where you're trying to get your business to, right? We talked about um, we're looking at the deficiency you have in your business to get you to that level as opposed to looking at um, how do I get myself to that level? Um, we really got ourselves into this idea of how do we build our teams? Um, how do we start to figure out what we do best and what we should have other people doing and how we kind of take that off of our plate and put that onto somebody else's? Um, we talked a lot about levers, a lot about levers yesterday. And anytime we talk about driving traffic to our listing, we're talking about levers. So we talked about um, all the levers that Vermont Teddy Bear runs. Um, and then we looked at some of those specific levers with YouTube and um, Amazon advertising and Google and such. And uh, so how many of you went home and implemented something last night? Awesome. Anybody want to share what they implemented? Yeah. Signed up for Ignite last night to test it. <laughs> ROI, ROI. Anybody else implement anything that they want to share? Uh, I started to sign up for the brand registry. Awesome. Uh, this kid's 15 years old and he runs his own Amazon business. If you haven't, if you haven't talked to him, it was actually quite an amazing conversation you and I had last night. Is your dad here? No, you, you ditched your dad today, good. Um, uh, his goal is not to, I mean, it's like, it's really cool to find out what each pe person in this room's goal is. Like his goal is to figure out how to run Amazon so he can scale it by acquiring Amazon businesses. Thomas, did you hear that? He's the one who sells the businesses. So like, it, we all have different goals in how we wanna grow and run our business. So uh, great, brand registry, yeah, we talked about that. Anybody else implement anything last night that they want to share? No? Nobody has the super secret sauce? Yeah, Mark. I, I signed up for uh, Google Actions. Oh, yeah. Mark signed up for Google Actions, and him and I talked about that for a little bit. And, and the, you know, I don't know what it is, but I want to be part of something at the early stages because one of the things that I have seen when we talk about easy buttons, one of the things that I've seen is that if you get into some of those type of things early, you usually get really cheap traffic. Now I know that's a CPA model, so it probably isn't like cheap traffic, like if you had gotten into sponsored ads early, um, but it goes back to the mentality that um, Liz has with Vermont Teddy Bear in that they do a little bit of everything because they don't know which trigger is gonna ultimately be the one that gives them the next level of success. One more person wanna add anything else that they did? Awesome, thanks for sharing. Appreciate that, guys. All right, so let's talk about what we're gonna be doing today because um, the key to being successful at this conference is taking action. So you guys are the winners right now, three winners. Um, taking action, that's what we wanna do. Um, so we're going to be starting the morning off talking about personas, and then we're going to be jumping into listings. And a lot of you guys have said to me, like, I know how to build a listing. And I said to Robin, I go, I'm fairly confident I could pull any listing from any seller in this room up and show you what's wrong with it. Um, and so our goal isn't to embarrass you. Our goal is to give you the tools to be able to go back to one of the fundamental parts of Amazon, which is the product detail page, and make sure that you have that set. Um, we're gonna then come back with a, a conversation on logistics um, that 
Eddie, uh, Eddie probably attends more conferences than anybody I know, even myself. I guess conferences at trade shows. Um, and and he has some really unique perspectives on logistics. And I think that um, how we transport our products, and Eddie and I talked about this a lot leading up to the show, how we transport our products in the future, today and in the future, is going to really drive how the success of your business works. Um, because as you start to look to go multi-channel, uh, you've got other complications. As Amazon continues to raise their fees, you have other complications, and I'm really excited for that presentation. Um, then we're gonna talk a little bit about the power of the VA and uh, what virtual assistants can do for us. Coming back from lunch, we're going to talk about managing cash flow, books, and preparing your business for sale. Um, this was actually requested from our last conference, was some information about accounting. So this is where you bring all your questions. It's gonna be a panel discussion um, on what, it, what do people look for when they wanna buy a business? What, do people, what are people doing wrong when they look to sell their business? Um, then we're gonna talk about strategic partnerships. Aaron uh, works with major Fortune 500 companies all the way down to you know, startups and helping them get connected with consultants and partners. Uh, he's seen a lot of these relationships and he's gonna talk about how do you know if the partner you're working with is the right partner for your business? How do you vet them uh, when you're trying to find a new partner for your business? Then we're gonna jump into uh, driving the speed limit with TOS compliance with Cindy from Seller Labs. And then we're gonna jump into financing your business with uh, Vicky from Payability. And then we're gonna finally wrap up with a panel discussion. Uh, it's gonna kind of turn into an AMA, which is uh, Ask Me Anything for everybody but the 15 year old in the room. He probably knew that one. Um, remind me your name, remind me your name. Everett, I don't wanna keep calling him the 15 year old, I'll call him Everett. <laughs> Treat him the same as all of us, right? Because he's got a successful business too. Um, the AMA is gonna really focus on this idea of what did we do in 2018 that doesn't work anymore? Um, what, are we, what are we doing, what do we need to be doing different in 2019? And uh, then you guys can go and uh, try to catch your Uber that won't come. Sound good? Um, I did realize yesterday a few of you came up and asked who I was. So I realized I never introduced myself. Um, my name is Jeff Cohen. Uh, I am the chief uh, relationship officer for Seller Labs. I do speak at a lot of conferences, which is probably why I made the assumption that you guys knew who I was. Um, and I have been kind of I guess for lack of a better term, the face and the voice of Seller Labs for the last five years. Um, but what we have been doing at Seller Labs is really working to put some additional faces and voices out in the marketplace so that you guys kind of see all of the amazing people we have at the office um, who, are, who are doing things. So before I introduce Molly, um, I wanna give one last round of applause for Caroline because she wasn't in the room yesterday. Uh, Caroline worked tirelessly to put this event together, um, everything last night, and um, I've had a lot of compliments from, uh, from many of you about um, how smooth this event has run, and I just, it's, it's, it has nothing to do with me. So it's all her, and, uh, and, and we thank you. <laughs>